The goal is to build a URL shortener. We will have an HTTP server with two routes. We can do a post to the root, which will create the shortening for a given URL. And we can do a get with the shortened URL, and it will redirect to the actual URL. The mapping from the short URL to the long URL will be stored in a BKNR data store. BKNR is an in-memory store. That is, all data is held in RAM. All changes are written to a log file, which can be used to restore the data. The most interesting feature of BKNR is that it's based on CLOS. We can store data simply using make instance. For this project we need Anchentoot and EasyRoot to implement the HTTP server, JSON to parse and stringify JSON objects, the BKNR data store, Ironclad Babel and CLBase64 to create the actual shortened URL. The class shorten URL will contain the mapping from short URL to long URL. We can see that we are defining a class as usual. Shorten URL will have two slots, short URL and long URL. Then we have to say what to do to BKNR. In particular, shorten URL will have to be a subclass of store object. We have to set the meta class persistent class. And to the slot short URL, we have to make an index. Because we want to be able to query a short URL and get a long URL. So the index will be a string unique index. We cannot have two short URL which are the same. And we need a function to read the shortened URL from the short URL. Finally, we have the function all shortened URL, which will give us the list of all objects. Then we have to actually create an instance of BKNR data store. We can do this using make instance, to which we have to pass a directory in which you can write the log and the snapshots. As input, we will get the long URL, and from it, we have to create a short URL and store the mapping. There are various approaches to create the short URL. The following procedure is based on the fact that our goal is to keep a temporary cache of short URLs, since we keep it just in RAM. So, we read the long URL from the user and we create the MD5 hash. We encode it as a base64 and then we take the first seven characters. This is the shortened URL. It could happen that there is a collision. That is, there is another long URL which we stored, which has the same short URL. In this case, we have to create another short URL. And we can do this simply by creating the hash of the hash. Encode it as a base64 and take the first seven characters. If there is not another short URL which is equal, we can store it. Otherwise, we go on as we did. This is the code to implement this procedure. Make shorten URL take as input long URL. The first step is to encode long URL, which is a string, as an array of bytes. We can use Babel using string to octets. Then we start a loop which looks for a free short URL. In the do, we have two variables. The first is the current iGest, which is computed at the beginning as the MD5 hash of the long URL, while from the second iteration on, it will be the hash of the current digest. Then we have the short URL, which is computed as the base64 encoding of the current digest, and then we take the first seven characters. The base64 encoding could contain some characters which are which cannot be used inside the URL. So in this case, we use a variant of base64 encoding, which is the base64 URL, which is set using the keyword URI to true. 
we can see if the short URL is available by using shorten URL by short URL, which queries the data store. As soon as we find a short URL which is available, we can use make instance. And uh, at this stage, we are actually storing the short URL inside the database. We return to the user two values. The first is the short URL, while the other is the object with the mapping. Finally, we can look at the HTTP server. We start the HTTP server on the port 8000 and we have two routes. The first one, which is on the root and uh, uses as method a post, we set the result content type as an application JSON. We create an hash table which will contain the response and we read the body of the post parsing a JSON. We read the key long URL. We create a shortening of long URL and save it in a variable short. Set the short URL in the result object and encode the hash table as a JSON string. The second root is a get and the path is the short URL. We query the BKNR data store for the short URL. If the result value is different from nil, we can make a redirect to the long URL. Otherwise, we have to print an error. The status code will be 404 and we write the name of the short URL which was not found. Let's try it. We use HTTP to make the post. This is the address of our server and we want to make a short URL for google.com. It returned the short URL and we can copy and paste it in the browser. As we expected, it redirected us to Google. On the other end, if we try to use a short URL which does not exist, it returns an error. For today, this is all. Let me know in the comments if you liked the video. Leave a like and subscribe.